So today we're gonna try some mud painting. First, I'm going to play around on this piece of paper because I've never done it before and kind of figure out how it works. Um, I saw a video from a, an art teacher group I'm part of called Art of Ed and they did a little Instagram video of this and I thought it was so cool. And it kind of was like kind of nice because there's a combination of seeing that and my dog had dug a hole recently in the yard. So I was like, perfect. I went and got some dirt and I put it in a bowl and I've got a paper plate here in a paintbrush. So I'm kind of, it's going to be almost like watercolor in the sense I'm going to grab some, put it here and get it wet. And I think the ratio, so if I have more dirt and less water, the more brown it will look and the more water I have and the less dirt I have, the lighter, a lighter tone of brown will be there. But we will see. I'm going to kind of play around on here, see how it works, let it dry. And then I'm gonna actually do almost kind of like a watercolor painting with the dirt um, for a nature project. So we'll just kind of get to work and we'll see what. So I began with just a pinch of dirt on a paper plate and I, the watercolor to me was like, okay, I'll just add water to the dirt like I traditionally do with my watercolor paints. It wasn't working. So I dumped just a little bit of water from my water cup and I actually got to mix it and it was a really good consistency, at least what I thought would be a good consistency for my first time. And it was about 50% mud and 50% water. So it was like a 50-50 ratio. And I kind of just started to do um, washes. So I just like what a wash in watercolor is, is just laying down a flat color in a large area. Uh, and so I was just kind of, especially this was my playing around paper, was just putting different squares everywhere that has some a little bit more dirt some had a little less dirt and i was seeing if i could try to build up one area of to make a really dark brown but it was turning out that i had to kind of let it dry so i let it dry and i came back and then i started to layer another layer on top and i saw okay that's how i'm going to build value in this watercolor or actually mud painting is by letting areas dry and coming back and doing a wash over it. All right, so what I've learned is that it is very similar in watercolor in the sense of that you do light washes first and then layer on top with darker tones or the, a similar tone and so it creates value that way. Uh, I really liked it here because I had a lighter, like I just put a light wash down, let it dry, and then I put a second wash on top of it and it made a darker tone. And then I tried to pat some of this, some dirt just on it to get it even a darker shade. So it's not gonna lay perfectly flat cause I'll have like these little clumps of dirt in it. But I really like how it's just, I've got to lay down a flat wash first of just, uh, just a mixture of um, just a little bit of water and the dirt to make a little mud. And I just do one wash first and then I can go in, let it dry put a, just a second coat on top and I think it's just going to be layering like that. So I'm going to let this fully dry and then I'll actually start working on a flower painting that I drew. So uh, we'll see how it looks. Way later in the day, like it was around dinner time, I realized I could actually rub the dirt off after it's fully dried. So I wanted to show you what that looked like. I ended up not rubbing the dirt off in my flower picture at the end of the video, but I thought I'd still show you that you could still take the dirt off. So off camera, I drew a picture of a flower that I saw on one of my nature walks a couple weeks ago. 
Um, actually, no, I lied. It was last year. I'm so sorry. But anyway, so I, I drew this picture, and then I'm coming in with a big round brush and just filling the whole entire piece up with a mud wash. Now you'll see I'm still following the shapes I drew just so that I could kind of see the brush strokes and see where each petal was because when you sometimes lay down a full wash you kind of lose the basic shapes or the details that you've created in your drawing. So I was kind of trying to still go with um, use my brush strokes as a way to see where each little petal was. And then it was time to let it dry. About uh, an hour or so later, I came back to it and it was ready to go. So I then started just to just do a second wash and not do, so like with the first wash, you filled, I filled up every single petal. With the second wash, I was only gonna fill up the, stop, the parts that had more like um, a medium shade to it. So I was light first and then in the medium stage and I'll later go in a dark stage. So here I was just adding some areas that I need to darken up to get to the darker stage. And again, you'll see I kept one of the flower petals in there a little bit lighter because I didn't want to lose it. And if I wanted to make it darker, I could make it darker in the next round of paint, of mud painting, so that I wouldn't lose it. In my reference photo, these stems were green, and so I was trying to make it look like it was a different color with my brown by making it actually a little bit darker just so it stood out from the flowers. And this is where I was actually figuring out how to really layer 
dirt <laughs> on top of this mud painting to really make it darker and it wasn't working so I was because it was still wet and I tried to put dirt on top the water and the brush just would spread the mud around and it wasn't working so I, I still stuck with it and was really patient and was going back and forth between the dirt and the mud. Once it was all dried I grabbed a smaller round brush and now I was going to go in and add all the details I could in the flower area and darken up some of the areas of this little bud and the stem. So you'll see my mud actually dried a little bit on my paper plate because I again let it fully dry on the paper so I had to add a little bit more water. And here's where I'm finding out how to actually really layer the darkest of darks on the the green areas or the dark areas and it ended up being I would get I'd do a layer of the mud paint and then I would go in with the dirt cup and pick up a little bit of the dirt and just dab it on and then add a mud a layer of mud paint over that and I think that was what was really working to get the super duper dark areas with the mud painting.
And here we are, a completed mud painting. As you can see, I didn't rub off the dirt because at this time I didn't know that was a thing, um, but that is a choice. I hope you have some fun and create something with mud. See you later. Bye.